Media. Quick tips. Sony Vegas Pro has some nifty little creative tools hidden within it that not everyone is aware of. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how to use those tools to produce a handy and hopefully convincing rain effect. To find the particular tool we need, open Sony Vegas Pro and right-click with your mouse on any available video track and select Insert Generated Media and then Sony Noise Texture. This brings up the Noise Texture control panel, which looks like this, and clicking on the little arrow here will reveal all the controls like this. As you can see, there are a number of noise styles to choose from. Fractal Smooth, through marbles to rings. The colour components can be changed here, although black and white is perfect for the effect we want. And by fiddling with the sliders, you can alter all sorts of parameters to change the effect. Now you could use trial and error to find the right combination, but to save time, here is one I prepared earlier. At this point, you might want to pause the video and note down the coordinates. When you've finished, your clip should look something like this. If it looks like this, then you need to reverse the colours by clicking here. If you now select and play the clip, you will see that the rain effect is static, which is less than convincing. We need rain that is actually raining. You will notice that adjusting the offset Y mode moves the effect down when decreased and up when increased. Now, in order to get this happening as it plays, we need to animate this control. So place the slider roughly in the middle and click the Animate control here. This will open up a little effect timeline like this. Making sure the cursor is at the beginning of the timeline here, click on the effect slider to record the position. Now, move the cursor to the end of the timeline and click here to add a new keyframe. Now move the Y offset slider right down to the left. This position is now recorded in the new keyframe. If we now play the clip, we can see the rain appear to move down as the cursor moves from one keyframe to another. And that's pretty much all you need to do with this effects panel. But you won't want to be typing the whole lot in every time you need a rain effect. So save it as a preset, like this. Just come up to the preset name box here and give this preset a name. I'm going to use Media Rain Effect and then click the floppy disk icon here to save it. And that's it. Whenever you need this effect, you'll find it here within the presets. Now, although we now have the basic effect, we still need to add a couple of enhancements to make it look convincing. First, we need to soften the rain lines with a bit of blur. So click the Video Event FX control here and choose Gaussian Blur. Now very little blur is needed and 0.0025 in both horizontal and vertical ranges should be more than enough. And lastly, as rain hardly ever falls straight down, we need to slant it a bit. So click on the Pan Event Crop tool here to open up keyframes. Make sure the cursor is on the very first keyframe here and I'll just use my mouse wheel here to zoom out now tilt the whole frame a bit, like this. And then drag it so that the whole frame is in the box, like this. And now we're nearly there. If we drag our effect over the picture or clip we wish to use, we can see that it's not transparent. To make it so, we need to change the track's compositing mode by clicking here and choosing Add. There, that's better. It still looks not quite right. It's a bit too harsh. So for the final adjustment, drag the opacity handle here, down until the effect looks natural. And there you have it, the basic effect is done. All that's required now is to add a sound effect, render to video, and this is what you get. Well, that's your lot. If you've enjoyed this video, then please subscribe, like and share. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos as they come out. This has been a Media Quick Tip and I have been William Hugh.